it's time to play Doom for the very first time. Dun dun dun! I have never played the original Doom. I feel like a lot of us haven't. You know, it came out a while ago now. It's not exactly uh, the most revolutionary game at this point, but when it came out, supposedly, it changed everything, and I'm finally going to play it. I feel like everyone who plays first-person shooters should probably play Doom at some point, as well as Wolfenstein. I've already played Wolfenstein on to Doom now. I haven't even opened the game yet. This is the very first time I've touched this. Here we go. Bethesda? This is Bethesda? I was gonna say, did they upgrade the graphics? Everything looks awfully sharp. And then it just switched to this. I could count the pixels if I felt like it. All right, so before I start, honestly, I don't know much about this game. I know that this is one of the first first-person shooters. This is the game that everyone talks about when they talk about, you know, the evolution of first-person shooters. And I, of course, know that they've released some new ones recently. I have not played the new ones yet. You know, one of my biggest questions that I go into playing old games like this for the first time is how playable is it at this point? Because I've mostly been playing Warzone lately, some Far Cry 5, things like that. And it's such a huge shock to the system to go back to these older games. So let's see how it does. Let's see how it holds up. Difficulty, I guess, dead center. We're just right in. Oh, there's no looking up and down? Interesting. All right, let me play with the controls for a second. The music though. How do you, okay. Okay, stand by. I'm gonna figure out the controls real quick. There's just dead people everywhere. How do you, how do you? Can you open stuff? Can you? Eh, eh. They didn't tell me the controls. Where's controls? Controls. All right, I think I've figured out. It's a lot more uh, intuitive compared to Wolfenstein, that's for sure. But I don't know if they updated these controls since then, since the menu was updated. Those bad guys? Oh, I keep hitting that by accident. So there's just zero story. I'm just, I'm in it. I'm in it, no explanation. Everyone's bad. Is that the story? You just, just go kill everything. Wait, you can't aim up though. Oh, it just automatically aims above? That's weird. Is this right that you can't aim up? Do you die if you fall in here? Uh, it just hurts a little bit. Damn, this is uh, way better, than, like way better than Wolfenstein. Now I did see that they upgraded the graphics a couple years later in this version. But wow, what a difference. Armor bonus. What about that thing though? Health bonus. You can get more than 100% health? Listen, I'm no mathematician, but I don't think that's how it works. Is this an elevator? What's with elevators in, in these early games? That was it? That was the whole level? Oh, the goal was 30 seconds. Okay. Okay. I gotta say, when I was a kid, uh, if I had gotten this, this would have scared the crap out of me. This is roughly 100,000 times easier than Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein was a mess. Is this a uh, perpetual bad guy coming out of door? I always forget how in older games there was just areas ooh, where people would keep coming out of them. Is there no jump? Jump? That's. I wonder if they added that too. The fact that there's a mini-map is confusing to me. I wonder if they added that later. That seems a little uh, before it's time. But again, just holy crap the difference between this and Wolfenstein. It was only like a- they were like a year apart, I think. 
It's just like a massive difference. It's no wonder people lost their minds with this game. I was wondering how much I'd be able to tell, and I always wondered why people never mentioned Wolfenstein the way they mentioned this game. It's because Wolfenstein sucked compared to this. I mean, there's a key card. That's way more advanced than I thought this would be. I mean, I know a key card's super basic and simple, but like in an older game, like now that, that being said, the not being able to aim downward thing is weird. I keep hitting the wrong button. I keep thinking I have to reload. Oh. Ooh. You got the shotgun, not a shotgun. You got the shot. There's only one shotgun. And I have it. I can't remember where I've been. Not here. Ooh. Explosive. Is this the start of explosive barrels conveniently placed everywhere? Oh, yeah. You can't step on the green. I forgot. Oh. Is there not a jump button? Hold on. We're gonna we're gonna consult with the customized controls menu, which I also find hard to believe it would have had back then. So I feel like they added that. All right, so no jump button, just sprint. Oh, sweet Jesus! Health bonus. What is the red? Is that is the red supposed to be like remnants of a body? I can't tell. It's so blurry. I gotta say that I'm impressed, impressed with the lighting, the flashing lights. I mean, for a game that old, it's kind of creepy. They did good. Where do I go? Whoa. This is so far beyond Wolfenstein. So far beyond it. I mean, you even got the world around it. Let's see. 14% of items, 56% of kills, 0% of secrets, and I did it in half and double the time. <laughs> That's rough. All right, so the green guys everywhere. I, I mean, I saw the cover photo for the game. We are the green outfit too. So it's supposed to be, we're going into a place where the rest of the team got wiped out, something. Where are, are we on a different planet? Anything, I get nothing. That sounded like a dog. All right, we got the Frankenstein looking guys. We got the other guys, and then we got the ones that look like alien monster thingies. Stop it! I don't like that sound. It's creepy. Shut up! You need a blue key. Well, um. Oh. Trying. Oh wow. Okay, I just, <laughs> everyone melting reminded me that isn't this the game that like created game ratings because people freaked out about it? It is way more graphic than Wolfenstein. I mean, as graphic as something with such a low resolution can be. What is that? Oh, it's just another shotgun. Wait, how is that another shotgun? I had the shotgun. Freaking liars. Okay, I don't understand. There's no jump. How do I? Oh. No. Oh, it's just a window. What the hell is that? This game, like up to the age of like 10, 12, I feel like would have given me nightmares. That the noises. Whoops. What the? F 
the hell is that thing? No! Alright, that's... I mean, uh, considering the time frame... I under... Like, considering this was not that far off from, like, the original Mario games, right? I mean, it was pretty graphic compared to that. I get that it would be a shock to the system. The people that saw... I, I guess the issue was that people saw video games at the time, and some people still today, as like a kid thing, like a little kid thing. They are not necessarily. Oh, the shotgun can reach this far. Wow, the shotgun physics are more realistic in this game than modern games. Shotguns don't suddenly stop working after 20 feet. I don't understand in these new games where if someone is just a little farther away, suddenly a shotgun has zero damage. It makes no sense. That's not how shotguns work. Oh, wow. I'm impressed, too, that uh, you can kill two people at once with this. The realism of that. Oh, it's dark and creepy. I see nothing. That was... That was scary. I didn't like it. Okay, that's why those things are there. Ah, oh, it's dark. So, I see... Oh, down there. I see no incentive to use the pistol when... There's just, like, unlimited shotgun ammo I keep finding everywhere. Not quite clear on the point of that. <laughs> you know, these maps are... Whoops, I didn't realize if you clicked, they still shot. I'm losing, uh, I'm losing my bearings. I can't remember where I'm supposed to go. I know I needed a key, key card at some point. Who is making that noise? Is this an elevator? What the f Where? There you are. They won't let me shoot him. My health's getting dangerously low. All right, where did I need that key card originally? I think it was all the way back here. I struggle with older games with that, even new games. I just, my memory is terrible. I get turned around. I can't remember where I'm supposed to go. Box of shotgun shells. I guess 50's max. Is that just the noise of the elevator? I'm not feeling this music the same way I was feeling the music in the last level. Eighty percent of kills, forty-five percent of zero secret. Okay, where are the secrets? Oh my god, that time's so bad. <laughs> That's so bad. Who is growling? Really the only thing that bothers me with this game is that you can't aim up and down. It's kind of weird. It's not even weird that you can't do that. It's just if you're going to give a vertical aspect to this game where you're going to have people up in windows, it's kind of like you should... I feel like they should have just left that out if they weren't going to uh, have the ability to look up and down. It's just weird. Or, I mean, they could have just had the... What's this? Eww. They could have just had the crosshairs and just pop up on their own or something. Why do I need this soup? The strafing. So much strafing. So much murder. 
I've already been here. <laughs> I really thought that barrel would get him. Ooh. Now I have 19 helmets on. Are those helmets? They look like helmets. Where do I go? I keep forgetting you can sprint super fast. There's that blue face again. Okay, what's the deal with the blue face? Or is that the secret? You gotta get up to that somehow? All right, we're gonna do another lap. I don't know where I am. Or actually, I know exactly where I am back at the beginning. I keep ending up at the beginning. I don't know where to go. That's a door. Um, I was gonna say, it was opening before. What is this? Is this a minigun? I didn't even see when I picked it up what it was. Okay, but where do I go? I wanna use it now. No, I'm lost. Thank God for the super speed sprinting. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm not scared of nobody now. I got a freaking minigun. Man, the 90s were lovely, weren't they? Still don't like that guy. Oh no! Uh oh, he's not looking good. That was uh, that was a little rough. Very claustrophobic tunnels. All the turnings making me a little nauseous. It's hard to tell what's a door. You got the shotgun. Apparently that's just what shotguns are called in this game. The shotgun. Picked up a clip? Like a mag like a clip for a gun? Or like a like a paper clip. Those things that look like uh, Satan with bad posture, I don't like those. I don't like the noises. The noises are scary, to be honest. They're a little creepy. Ah! As a child, had I played this game, I would have pooped my pants at least once. That's the end of the level? All right, let's see what's behind this door, though. Box of rocket? Oh, Jesus. More rockets? I got a, a, a whole, uh, I got pockets full of rock, pockets full of rockets. I got pockets full of rockets and nothing to use them in. That makes me sad. Hundred percent of kills. That's not bad, 77% of items, still 0% of secrets, and wow, my time is bad every single time. All right, we're gonna do one more. Oh, nope, nope, I don't like the invisible, mm-mm. Oh no, I'm out of minigun ammo. That sound, not a fan. Ooh. I hear ya. 
I don't see ya. Freaking keys. Key cards for everything. Up here. Jesus. How, uh, how lovely. Romantic. So how do I get over there, though? Oh, I'm very lost. Picked up a clip. Another clip. Shut up! Shut up, walls! For real? I never opened that- Oh yeah, I needed that key card. Freaking key cards. See, in the amount of time it took me to find the key card, I forgot that I needed the key card. Wow, it's a lot of people. Or demons, or- are they fighting each other? Freaking! I don't like the invisible one. Ah! Ah! No! That's bad! I don't like something about invisible things or almost invisible things. They creep me out a little bit, to be honest with ya. Ooh, I didn't mean to shoot that. Oh, very clever. Very clever. I'm confused. This wasn't open before. Was it? No. Getting, getting low. It's like legitimately creepy still. I may die as well. That was genuinely creepy. After all these years, I'm impressed. All the way back at the beginning. All right. I'm going to call it quits for now. This was fun though. This was, it was good. It was good. I can see, I can see why uh, why this changed things. I can see how revolutionary this was. I can also kind of see why people freaked out about it, considering most games at the time were made for kids or just 
maybe not even made for kids, just more innocent seeming. <laughs> so I could see how this would shock some people. I'm probably gonna do at least one more video on this. This is a fun game. I'm genuinely gonna keep playing this. Wolfenstein, I'm probably, I might do another video, but other than that, in my spare time, I'm not playing Wolfenstein. That game is brutal. This game's fun. It's still fun. Clearly, you can't compare it too much to modern games, but you can definitely, it's definitely playable still. It's enjoyable. Wolfenstein was, it was fun to play once. It was not something I'd keep going back to though. So one year, I think it was only a year between the two. It's incredible, the difference, incredible difference. This is a good game. This is a good game. I, I get the hype. I get the hype. Tell me in the comments if you've played this game before, if you're going to try playing it. If you have played it, tell me what you thought. Uh, tell me how it compares to the new Doom too. I haven't played the new Doom or the Doom that came out a couple years ago. I got to play both of those. I'm definitely going to play them soon and I'd love to play this one and then immediately play the most recent one to see <laughs> how different they are. Uh, I bet the people back then that freaked out about this would have a freaking meltdown about the modern Doom. So... Yeah, I think people just need to uh, relax about video games, understand it's just a game. There are some that kids probably shouldn't play, but other than that, let's all be adults, realize it's a game, it's not a big deal, and move on. It's a little pixelated blood, it's not a big deal. All right, everyone, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. I will see you on the next one, and as always... Let me know if there's any games you think I should play. I'm really looking forward to getting back to the games that I actually played as a kid versus these games I've never played before. But in the meantime, I'm having a blast with this. I hope you're having a good time too. I'll see you around.